do you see making cold water hash as more art or more science? Um, definitely science. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't subscribe to the extract artist narrative. I mean, okay. I think, you know, I have a culinary background as well. Mm. So like, what's very interesting is like, you can give a chef the same ingredients um, as another chef, and maybe in the end, the dish will taste a little different. Um, and I feel like it's kind of the same thing with hash making as well. You can give the same material to two, two different hash makers. Um, and there'll be like a slight difference probably, but, you know, unless they really didn't know what they're doing, the product should pretty much, you know, um, end up similar. Okay. In terms of, uh, in terms of people not knowing what they're doing, uh, you know, how has the industry evolved in terms of people that are trying to subscribe to the process and put out a quality product? Well, I feel like, um, it's immensely different now because there's so many blogs, there's so many YouTubes, there's so many tutorials, there's so many professional companies that you buy equipment from that are happy to do consultations and, you know, help you out with the process. 